In this video, I have a neat little plugin I'd like to share with you that can help you save a little bit of time while working in Roblox Studio, and I'm sure you're gonna love plugins that save you time. This plugin in particular allows you to quickly open module scripts that have been required within the scripts in your game, meaning you don't have to go searching through your Explorer menu to find the location of a module script in order to open it. You can head to a link in the description to install this plugin for free, and this plugin also works great in conjunction with another plugin called require autocomplete, which I will have linked in the description as well. So I'm just going to install this go to module plugin real quick. And once we have it installed, we're going to need to assign a shortcut in studio for it to work. So we can head up to the file section, open up advanced and then go to the customize shortcuts, which will open up this menu. And then you should be able to search for something called go to module. I already have it in here with my shortcut but there's going to be no shortcut here and you're going to want to double click it and assign a new shortcut to use this go to module function. And for me, I just did control and Q. You could do the same if you'd like, and then you can hit okay. And now what this plugin is going to do is it's going to allow you to go to a module script that's required in your script. So as an example, let me just add some folders and replicated storage, and I'll just slap a module script in here. And let's say in another script somewhere in your game, you have that particular module script required. So right now I'm using the require autocomplete plugin, but let's say you had some kind of module required in your script and you wanna be able to go to this module, maybe you need to make some modifications or something, and you don't have it open in your script editor and you don't wanna spend time looking for wherever it's located inside of your explore menu. Well, all we need to do is have the line selected where we have initialized this variable with the require function call. And we just need to press the keys for our shortcut. In this case, that's control and Q. And once I do that, there you go. It opened up the module for me and I didn't need to go looking for wherever it was located in replicated storage. You could think of this feature as very similar to another feature in Studio by default, which is this go to declaration uh, keybind right here. So like if I were to have some kind of function and let's say a thousand lines in my script somewhere, I don't know. We're, we're calling this function and we're using it and we want to go to where the function was declared. Well, Roblox allows you to go to the declaration of the function, which makes it pretty easy to move back and forth in your scripts. And you can also do the same thing for functions inside of modules as well. So let's say this module had some kind of function in here. Um, I'll just call this function ABC. And let's say we're using that function in here somewhere. So we'll just do module script.abc. We're also able to go to the declaration, which will also automatically open up the module script. But let's say it's a module that doesn't have any functions inside of it, but we still need to go inside of the module and edit something inside of it. It would be really useful if Roblox had a feature where we could go to the declaration of a module script, but instead of it being a function, we just refer to the module and we go to the declaration, but we can't do that when we're requiring something. You know, we, we can sit here and try like, hey, I wanna go to this module script. Can you open it up for me? Now, Roblox Studio doesn't have that by default. So that's why I made this simple plugin that allows you to automatically open it. How this plugin works is that it just grabs the full name of the module based on the text inside of the require function call. So it'll go to replicated storage. It'll look for a child called folder. When it finds it, it'll go inside a folder to look for the next child, which is folder. And then once it finally finds the module script, it attempts to open it. If it was unable to find a module, then it'll spit out a warning message inside of the console. So let's say I had the wrong line selected, like let's say I had this line selected and I try to use my shortcut, it's going to say that it failed to find a module on this selected line of line five because there's nothing on this line. As I mentioned earlier, this module works great with the require autocomplete plugin, which I've used to require all of these different modules for this particular entity class in my game that I'm currently working on. Now this plugin isn't going to work if you are requiring modules using other variables. So as an example, let me, let, let's say I had a variable for my modules folder in replicated storage. So I'll just call this modules it's equal to replicated storage dot modules and I used that instead of replicated storage.modules. If I did something like that, then it's no longer going to work because unfortunately my plugin is just not smart enough to figure out what the heck modules is. So if I do control and Q, it's going to be like, hey, 
I failed to find this particular thing with modules because what my plugin is expecting is that it's expecting for there to be um, either a service first or the script uh, global variable. It's going to check to see if there's either one of those. And if it isn't, it's going to say, hey, I can't find a service with this name. And it's just not going to know what modules is. Sorry, my uh, plugin's not that smart. But it works perfectly fine with something like require autocomplete or if you just require modules in this fashion. So as an example, let's just say I'm coding in my game and I'm like, oh, I need to, uh, for some reason, go into my uh, entity backend module to edit something in there real quick. Well, before I would usually just go to the Explorer window and just search for it and try to find it and have it appear in here, but that takes a long time. Wouldn't it be cool if I could just first go to the declaration of this variable, which I can do by pressing control and click. And then once I'm there, I can just press control and Q and then it opens it just like that. So actually let's see how quickly we can do that. So first we'll do a speed run to see how fast I can get to my entity backend from the Explorer window. I'll search for entity backend. There it is. Open it. Okay, I'm there. Now let's try doing the other way with plugins. First, I'm going to control click, control Q. Boom, I'm there much faster. So I hope you'll find this plugin useful in certain situations to save you a little bit of time. In most circumstances, the go to declaration feature should suffice for you. But if you find yourself at the variable declaration for all your module scripts and you want to quickly hop into a couple of them, this plugin will make that very easy. Again, you can grab it and install it for free from the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.